Hey, this is JB with your weekly Mountain Tips, Mountain Tricks. So I'm out here in Utah for an avalanche training and we've just had the first snowfall of the year. It's the really good, light, fluffy Utah stuff. A lot of fun. We're not quite skiing yet, but it's still a really great time to be in the mountains just about anywhere. The animals are migrating, the snow's coming down. It's just a really exciting time. For a climber or a backcountry skier or even a ski mountaineer, this is also a good time to be out because you can learn a little bit about what's going on with the snowpack for the season. You see, this first snowfall that we've had is going to become the base for the snowpack later in the year. As more snow comes down on it, if we know a little bit about this first couple of snowfalls, we'll know a lot more about what type of avalanche season we're going to have later on. Okay, This snow is light and fluffy right now, but it can change. If we have really cold temperatures and the snowpack stays shallow for the next couple of weeks, this snow will turn into ice crystals, which we sometimes call facets. Once it's buried, that can also be called depth war. This is a very weak layer in the snow, and it's a major cause for avalanches, especially the killer kind. Also, if we have really warm temperatures, or maybe even worse, we get a little bit of rain, we can get ice layers and crust layers, which can be almost as equally as bad, because the snow that's coming down doesn't necessarily bond well to it. If you don't know a lot about this uh, snow formations, avalanche, this is also a good time to, to get out and take an avalanche course. You can take one through us and check us out at, at swsmtns.com. Or if you can't make it out to California, say you're from, from Utah or the Intermountain region, Colorado, you can also check out our friends over at the American Avalanche Institute. Remember, it's really important that you're not the person later in the season that gets caught in an avalanche. Remember to know before you go. And hopefully, with this information, we'll be able to see you out on the mountains this year. Thanks.